Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to learn about soft engineering river management techniques. What is soft engineering? Rivers must be managed in order to prevent flooding and they can be managed by either hard or soft engineering. Soft engineering is the use of the natural environment to manage the river's discharge. This limits the damage of flooding. One way we can use soft engineering to protect uh, civilization from flooding is by contour ploughing. This is the raising of the hills in order to prevent runoff getting into the river. Because less runoff will then get into the river, discharge is managed and decreased so the risk of flooding is lessened. For example, here we have an example of contour ploughing. On the left is a standard hill and what happens is that if the discharge then increases, we can see that the river can have its water overflow it and then flood the land. However, if we plough the hill and raise it, then as you can see, we won't get the river overflowing over it because it's going to have to increase its discharge even more in order to be able to surpass the height of that hill. Floodplain zoning. This manages what the land is going to be used for. By assigning certain areas of land which are prone to flooding and have nothing in them, instead of perhaps putting in buildings or farming, the impact of the flood won't be as bad. So what this pretty much means is you put nothing in an area and that area will flood, but it won't affect anything. So that's another soft engineering technique which you can use. Aforestation. By growing more trees, there will be more interception. So as a result, less water will actually fall into the channel and the level of discharge will be managed and reduced, hence pretty much uh, making flooding less likely to happen. Forecasts and warning. This works by telling members of the population in advance that there will be a flood. So as a result, they're going to be able to evacuate the area or get ready for the flood and hence have its impacts prevented. Here are some questions on flooding and soft engineering management techniques. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper and by pausing the video and then press play to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got both of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be a case study of soft engineering about the river quaggy. As always, thank you for watching and good luck in your exams. See you later.